Hello everybody, this is Bladax here, back with another episode of Minecraft, but today we're doing something slightly different, we're going to be doing a tutorial for a super smelter, the exact one, well a smaller version of it anyway, of this what, super smelter behind me. These, This super smelter that I'm going to be showing you is infinitely expandable, you know, it, it will go on forever, okay, you know, you, forever. It's also incredibly fast, so basically, uh, a 12, well, 24 furnace array, which is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So up to here, this much on both sides. So if we just uh, make sure you can see it. This much on both sides, just that, takes only 1 minute and 5 seconds to smelt two stacks. That's a stack and a stack. In exactly one minute and five seconds. That's how that is how quick it is. Really speedy. Okay, on to the tutorial then. Okay, so this is what you'll need. You will require exactly about I would say about a stack. Okay, only a stack of polished granite. Maybe even less. Maybe even half a stack. You know, these these two can be whatever you want them to be. Okay, four minecart with a chest. Uh, about a stack and twenty five of hoppers. 24 furnaces, um, as I said before, granite stairs, but these can be whatever you want. A stack, definitely a stack of powered rails, 8 regular rails, a redstone repeater, 9 redstone dust, 15 redstone torches, and a lever. So, let's get started, shall we? So, what, go over to where you want to start, maybe let's go here. So, we're going to get your, your chests out. So, chest here, one, two, three, four, five, and we want five out, chest, you want to make sure these are in line, okay, if these are not in line, then you've, you've gone wrong, okay, you want to go over to your hoppers, boom, boom, okay, boom, 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 boom. So you want to, once, you, once you've um, sort of made this, yeah, you want to make sure you've got these uh, two hoppers at the back. Um, helpful tip for like not going inside of the furnace menu is by pr pressing shift, well this is where only on creative it works, shift and space at the same time and you can place these down, it's quite useful. So you can do that, boom boom, so you should have something that looks a bit like this, okay. Once you've done that, you want to put... Um, Three blocks up there, three blocks up here. Uh, so you want to have a sort of diagonal thing right here, okay? Like that. Once that's done, you want to make a big plus sign right here. Once that is done, go into your inventory, get out a lever, and place it like that, okay? That's what you should have at the moment, okay? Now you want to go out. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This makes 12, 12, 24 furnace array. So you want to put, uh, remember, another ten furnaces. So, um, nine, ten. Perfect. And once that is done, you want to do exactly the same thing on this side. Bearing in mind, this will be basically a carbon copy of, um, of that side. So this it's basically going to be identical. See, so I missed that one out there. It needs to be identical for the speed. One minute five for um this um whole thing to be doing like two stacks. So you can do like, you know, you can use this to smelt up iron to go and make your extended version. You know. So um I will I will be showing off the uh, the, the the skills of the uh, gigantic. You know, super smelter over there. That is, you know. So basically, once you've done that, you want to continue um, placing on these at the back. Uh, make sure you fill them all in. You don't want any gaps. So you want to get these um, facing downwards into there. So um, now, once you've done that, you should have something that looks exactly like this. And once that is done, you want to go back to the back of this. Shift and crouch and you should make something like that okay do exactly the same thing on this side so remember everything has to be identical 
And once that's done, I want you to place a block here. Go over to the other side. Place a block here. Now, once that's done, place a powered rail there. Powered rail there. Now, this step here is crucial, okay? Otherwise, it won't work. Rail there. A regular rail, okay? Go over here. Regular rail there. Regular rail there. Powered rail. Powered rail, okay? So you just have that like that. Powered rail, powered rail, regular rail, and then from there on out, you want to go and have a, just a powered rail all the way to the end. And basically, this is what you do. You want to fill all of these um, tops of the furnaces with powered rails. That goes down there, down there, regular rail, powered rail. That pattern there, see? So, powered rail, regular rail, powered rail, and then all you know, just regular bit, then just powered rail all the way along. Now you want to do that on the bottom as well. Now a helpful tip for making sure that, um, you know, you've... Because uh, super smelters also have to be built in a specific way, okay? If you don't build them a specific way, or facing a specific direction, which for a super smelter is a, uh, east to west, west to east. So if we look over here, uh, you can see that this is the correct way, which is the way we're building it right now. And this is, uh, you don't want to build it, you know, you have the, f the furnaces along like this. You don't want to have them like, a bit like that. You know, you don't want to have it like that. You want to always have furnaces like this. So there's that. So just a uh, heads up, you know, make sure the way you are building it is um, east to west. Uh, east to west. You can check that in Java Edition just by pressing F3 and you can see it there. Okay, back over here. Now, what we're going to be focusing on now is the the really easy redstone part. Okay, so you want to go over to your chest, you know, and grab out your um. Oh, okay. I've I've forgotten to mention that you do need because over here on the regular thing you do need these um polished granite slabs. Okay, you need about uh, four of them. So remember, you've got need to have four polished granite slabs. Okay. So you want to go and place two blocks of uh, regular granite there, two polished granite slabs there. Go in your inventory, get out the redstone, and go put a repeater like this. Redstone, 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 redstone. Go down, redstone, 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 redstone. That is literally it. That's how easy the redstone is, okay? Now, what you want to do is go over here. And you want to, this is also another essential part, is going to place two blocks at the end. Now this is essential because um, otherwise this will, this end one here will always fill up with more items than everything else, making it unbalanced. Because this is currently a perfect, everything will get equal amounts. So, block like that, block like this. Do the same thing on this side as well. Place a block like that, so you need to have a zigzag pattern. Now break the blocks underneath. Like that. Now go in your inventory and get out your redstone torches. Place them like this. And then you will notice that this um once you place the um these uh, powered rails in will light it up. So it's, these means it's powered, okay? Like that and like that, and like this and like that. Now remember this is a crucial step, break that, break that. Otherwise your um your uh, minecart with a chest will just roll off the edge. So do the same thing over here, break that, place, break. So that's what you've got. Now go back over here and place a redstone torch like that. Redstone torch like that. And you want to have a redstone torch here and a redstone torch here. So that's what you should have at the moment, okay? This is basically the entire design done, okay? Now you want to get your minecart of a chest, your four of them. Oh, whoops, I accidentally uh, broke that there. But that doesn't ma ma matter. Okay. So, minecart of a chest, minecart of a chest, minecart of a chest, minecart of a chest. So, this is what it should look like. Furnaces, furnaces, minecart with a chest. And then, now this is, um, so if you want to actually use it, so you want to get your coal, and uh, let's just, um, let's get a uh, resource. Let's like a uh, stone. Let's get a stack of stone. So you want to go over here, place this. This fuel is the fuel, okay? Fuel goes at the bottom here, 
items go at the bottom here. Now I did say, actually we probably should get a bit more stone, because I did say um, it can do, you know, a stack, uh, two stacks within one minute, so there's no point uh, not showing that off, okay? So that's what we've got here, three, two, one, if you want to start your timer now, should um, be by 11.10, 11.10, should the whole thing should be done, so a minute and five seconds exactly. Because we started the timer at 10.25. If we look down here, already got 12, you know? Already got 12, and it's filling up right now. Already going up, tick, 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 to 24. Boom. For exit, if we look in here, filling up right now. See, look how fast that is. Absolutely amazing. And of course you have it going on at exactly the same time over here. We just uh, deactivate that. 40, 42, 45, 7, 7. Which should be the same over here. 48, 50. Boom, 50, 60. Okay. Oh. Must have been... Uh, 64, 64. Look at that. Just done. And just as I uh, said, you know. So that is the um, this that is the tutorial. You know. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I actually probably should uh, show you the this uh, monster in action. So uh, if we turn this off, uh, so we can uh, fix the furnaces. Oops. So. This, uh, this is the, uh, of course, the 64 furnace array. So I'll show you how fast that one was. So if we uh, go into uh, slash clear and inventory, and then we just do um, uh, coal, probably should get about, I don't know, four stacks of coal, probably not useful. Okay, so we'll do the same test, but um, you know, two stacks of uh, stone each. So stone, stone. Of course, we put the this stone up there, stone up there, coal, coal. And let's be uh, equal, so we'll just do the same same sort of stuff that's over there. Lighting it all up, all the way down. No, not a single furnace is turned off. Let's see these numbers, shall we? Look at that. It's just pouring in. It's just continuously going. 35 seconds it should be, and we should have a stack right here. Boom. Look at that. See, look how quickly it's going. It's not even stopping, see? That is how many furnaces we have. 64, done. Done. Look at that. So, remember, this, this design over there is infinitely expandable. You know, you could do all the way to the end of the world if you wanted to, if you could keep it all rendered and stuff, in your render distance. Keep on it going, you know, it's very easy. Of course, the 64, um, this will require exactly three stacks of hoppers. So, um, you know, if, and probably two more stacks of uh, rails. So just keep out of mind of how much that be. You can probably use this to uh, smelt all your iron, to be honest. So, um, that's been uh, Blade Axe. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, hit the notification button, I guess. Thank you, and thanks for watching. This has been Blade Axe. Goodbye.